This tutorial will guide you through the basics of searching SciFinder Scholar. To begin searching SciFinder, go to the library's website, roanoke.edu slash library, and click on Explore Databases. Navigate to SciFinder Scholar existing account and click the link. Sign in using the username and password that you previously created for your SciFinder account. There are three basic types of searches, references, substances, and reactions. This video will focus only on reference searching and more specifically, research topic, author name, and journal searching. Searching references in SciFinder is similar to searching in any other database. Enter your keywords in the search box and press search. For phrases, quotation marks are not necessary because SciFinder considers multiple keywords as a phrase. This slide shows what happens when more than one keyword is searched at the same time. The first set of references will show citations where the keywords appear as a phrase. The second set of references will show the keywords that appear anywhere in the citation, but not necessarily as a phrase. When searching by author, you can enter as much or as little of the author's name that you know. If you'll notice under the last name box, there is a way that you can look for alternate spellings of the last name. If you're not sure of how to spell the last name, simply click that box. The only element that's required when you're searching author names is the last name. The first set of results that you'll get when you're searching author's names is going to look a little different than when you're searching research topics or keywords. Here you see a list of authors whose last names match the search that was executed. You will select by checking boxes those names that most nearly match the name of your author. It is possible to search journal titles in SciFinder. If you know the full name of the journal, you can enter it into the journal name box. If you know a partial name or only a few words of the title, you can enter that into the journal name box as well. To further narrow your journal title search, you can add a volume if you know that, or if you're only interested in articles for, for specific years, you can see that you could add a publication year or range of years. This is a good way to also check citations that you may have partial information on by entering bits and pieces of the citation information into the boxes as shown and then clicking search. Journal search results are structured in two ways. On the left side of the screen, you'll find all of the journal titles that match the words which you entered into your search. And here you see that there are several thousand citations that are coming from the journal that has the title nanotechnology. On the right side of the screen, you'll see the matching citations. Notice that we searched by nanotechnology and limited to year 2015. Here you can see nanotechnology and the year 2015 have been highlighted throughout. All of these 8,020 results will have nanotechnology as part of the journal title and the year 2015 in the results. Here we see a set of citations that match the research topic search using keywords alkalized cocoa. The keywords have been highlighted and presented in bold. This also can suggest the relevance of the citation to the initial search. For those citations where you'd like to determine if full text exists, you can click on the phrase other sources or you can click on the title to find out whether or not full text exists. By clicking on a citation's title or the phrase other sources, a new screen will open which looks very similar to this. 
This screen allows you to select from different options to identify the possibility of full text. Please note that by clicking on these links where it says find full text or for example HTML from the publisher, access is going to be based on whether or not the library provides a subscription to that journal or the article exists in one of the library's databases. If there is no full text access offered, you may click the interlibrary loan link to request the article via interlibrary loan. When you click the interlibrary loan link, a new platform will open and you'll enter your RC credentials to gain access. The article request feature should be pre-populated with the information from SciFinder Scholar. Let's look at some of the icons that appear on our citation results screen. You'll notice to the right of each citation there are two icons. The first icon deals with corresponding substances. Corresponding substances and reactions will be discussed in another tutorial. The second icon refers to sources that cite the article in which you're interested. This is a really good way to look for other articles that are relevant to your search topic. You'll notice to the left of your citations, there are three tabs, Analyze, Refine, and Categorize. Each of these are used to narrow your search results further. The Analyze feature allows you to determine how many citations match a particular category of information. Here we're analyzing our citations by concept heading or broad subject category. We can see that for cocoa powder, for example, there are 24 citations which have the concept heading cocoa powder. You can also analyze by a number of other categories of information. Those categories include author, journal name, language, publication year, company, which would include also colleges and universities, document type, which also includes thesis and dissertations. The refine feature is used to search within your results set. You can refine by research topic, which means you can add additional keywords to search, a specific author or company name, document type. You can limit to a particular publication year. You can search for specific languages or even a database. Categorize is a way to narrow your search results by using broad subject categories and further narrowing by subtopics and index terms. Here what we've done is to select biotechnology as the broad subject category heading. From here we can see several different subcategories or subtopics that are related to biotechnology. The numbers in parentheses identify the number of index terms that are related to each subtopic. Here we selected substances and food chemistry. There are 132 index terms, which in the third column, we can see all of those index terms. You can select as few or as many index terms as you like. As you select them, they will appear in the selected terms box. But once you've made all of your selections, click OK. Once you've clicked OK, you will pre be presented with a smaller subset of articles that are related to the categories in question. If you have questions after watching this tutorial, don't hesitate to reach out to us here at the library. You can schedule a re re reference appointment from the library website. You can chat with us, also found on the library website, or you can send an email to library at roanoke.edu.